Today we're going to be talking about a program that adds visual enhancements to your mouse pointer that could be pretty helpful for low vision. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. In a recent video that I did about the amazing Zoom application, which turned your mouse pointer into a magnifying glass, uh, someone asked a question about other visual enhancements to your mouse pointer to, to make it easier to see. So that's what we are doing this video about today. If this kind of content is interesting and helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, turn on notifications so you'll be alerted every time I put out a new video. So this program is called Pointer Focus. Some information about the application first is that it looks like it's only available for Windows and it is a paid application. You can do a free trial and the application costs around $12. So not too bad really. But you have a ton of tools or features with this application. The first one that's uh, probably going to be the most helpful is this yellow circle. Well, actually the circle that surrounds your mouse. You can actually change the color and the size and all of that in the settings. We'll get to that here in a second. But this is pretty helpful. It's easy, an easy way to keep track of your mouse pointer because you always have this circle around it. Whenever I click, I get this little circle animation here and you can actually choose the color for either the left click or the right click. So my right click is set to a blue color. Left click is yellow, right click is blue. One thing to note about this little control panel is it is a persistent window, which means that it stays in front of whatever is open on the desktop. But it does have an option here to minimize this so you can get rid of it if you don't want it out and about the whole time. Okay, let's take a look at all the other options we have here. So the first one is this circle, as I said. You just click on it and it enables that option. The next one is a keystroke labeler. So if I turn that on and for example, I do my zoom in and zoom out. You can see that it has the keystrokes displayed on the screen there. All right, I brought up this picture of my daughter and myself to illustrate the next one here, which is a spotlight. So the screen dims and wherever your pointer goes, a spotlight appears around it. And as before, you can adjust the size of the spotlight and the darkness of the screen in the settings. Next, we have a pen tool, which allows us to write on the screen, write wherever we want to. If you right click, you get some options to adjust. We can create lines, straight lines. We can do arrows, which could be very helpful in a presentation. We also have rectangles, so you just drag and it creates a rectangle and leaves a rectangle on there. Then whenever you disable the pin tool, it all disappears. Next we have a magnifier, so it displays a dome magnifier and whatever your pointer goes over, it will magnify. And then once again in the settings, you can adjust the magnification and all that. The other three options here are to minimize this control panel, to exit the program, and the settings. Let's jump into the settings here. And you have all the different tools listed at the top here as tabs. And right now we are in the circle tab, and so we can adjust many of the different parameters for that. So the circle color, you can adjust the size of the circle, the circle width. So right now the circle is set to 150. We can go ahead and set that uh, 300. Click OK. And now our circle is even larger. Toggle on the animation, the click animation, things like that. Some other options. Change the left click color and the right click color. And you can also enable the hotkey. So that's something to mention. All of these tools can also be activated by hotkeys. So you can have this 
program running in the background with the control panel minimized. And if you need the magnifier, use the hot key to turn it on real quick. You need to draw something on the screen, use the hot key to turn on the pin. Take a look at some of these other settings. Spotlight, for example. You can adjust the size of the spotlight. Let's set that to 500. Click OK. Turn off our circle, turn on our spotlight. Bring up our picture again, and now our spotlight is much larger. You can adjust the amount of dimming for the screen here, and as I, you can see it darken or lighten as I do the slider here. And then quickly the settings for the magnifier. Uh, just as before, we can set the size of the magnifier. You can set the magnification level, and then you can change the different effects inside of the magnifier. So let's turn that on real quick. So there, I've got a giant magnifier. Okay guys, so that is pointer focus. This is a way for Windows users to add visual enhancements to their mouse pointer to make it easier to see. Or, you know, all of these I think were originally designed for presentations, but they can help us as well. I'll have a link to the program in the description down below. You can go check it out. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. And as always, a huge thank you to my members for your support in helping to make these videos. Couldn't do it without you guys. If you would like to become a member, I will have a link in the description down below. Thank you again for watching, guys. Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you later.